Women in Sustainability Leadership Awards really gives the opportunity to honor and recognize some really incredible women in sustainability. This is our third year of the WSLA, and I have to say in, in 2014, Chris and I were networking with some really, really phenomenal women, and I think that we wanted to, number one, find a place to honor these women, but also bring them together in the same room. And I think through doing that, we realized that there was a need for this, and we realized that we wanted to continue moving the mission forward. When we had the first year's award reception, there was just this amazing energy. You know, it was one of the one of the greatest professional experiences I've had in my career. Was just sitting at the dinner afterwards and just hearing the conversations. I mean, it was like sitting at a table of women plotting to make the world a better place. I think what really makes the award interesting this year is that, as part of the judging criteria, we've had to look into some of the challenges that they've had to overcome. The common thread was everyone had to rise to a challenge and come up with their own solution. Everyone had to lead their own career. And so when we talk about women um, that are powerful leaders, it's not just leading their company or leading their team. A lot of times it's, it's leading themselves. A lot of the women that are receiving the award this year come from a lot of different industries, from education to engineering to architecture uh, to development to policy to nonprofits. And it's exciting to have them all in one room. We want to give these women, we want to feel like their influence is actually being heard. And I feel like through the WSLA, the influence that they've had on the industry, it's actually being felt. And so we wanted to try and keep that moving and we formed a group of alums um, with the hope that you know, as a group of winners grew, they could continue to stay in touch and, and work together on creating a more sustainable world. Rochelle Routman, who is the CSO of Paulson International, is the alumni chair of the WSLA, and she's been so supportive in, in really helping to move WSLA forward and helping it to grow and, and helping our mission, so we can't thank her enough. So this year and for the past three years, we've been partnering with the United States Green Building Council for our Women in Sustainability Leadership Awards. They've been a phenomenal partner. They've really helped publicize it. They've helped increase the number of submissions that we've received. And then, therefore, they've helped really increase the recognition that, that these winners are receiving each year. Honestly, in a way, it would be great if this award didn't need to exist. If the women in leadership positions working for sustainability were so well recognized, so well established in our industry that this was just moot. But I think until that point comes, um, any discussion, any advocacy, anything we can do to illustrate the great need for women in sustainability is really worthwhile. Ladies and gentlemen, Green Building and Design welcomes you to the 2016 Women in Sustainability Leadership Awards. The 2016 WSLA judges include Chris Howe and Laura Heidenreich, Green Building and Design, Amanda Sturgeon, CEO, International Living Future Institute, Rochelle Routman, CSO, Halstead International, Angela Foster Rice, Managing Director of Environmental Affairs, United Airlines. Leith Sharp, Director of Executive Education for Sustainability, Harvard University Center for Health and the Global Environment. Kimberly Lewis, Senior VP of Community Advancement and Conferences, United States Green Building Council. The 2016 Women in Sustainability Leadership Award winners include Lisa Bate, B Plus H Architects. Liz York, Center for Disease Control and Prevention. Mary Todd Winchester, Chesapeake Bay Foundation, Kelly Vlahakis Hanks, Earth Friendly Products, Nicole Isle, Glumac, Holly Henderson, H2 Eco Design, Susan King, Harley Ellis Devereaux, Kathleen Smith, International Living Future Institute, Barbara Deutsch, Landscape Architecture Foundation, Nancy Sutley, Los Angeles Department of Water and Power. Karen Kubik, San Francisco Public Utilities Commission. Barbara Bachelom, Sustainable Performance Institute. Andrea Gertz, TELUS. Carolyn Aguilar DuBose, Ibera Americana University. Dominique Hargreaves, United States Green Building Council, Los Angeles Chapter. Please join me in congratulating the 2016 Women in Sustainability Leadership Award winners, 